Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live on our Proton, uh, our Patreon, excuse me, Patreon channel here. And I got this, uh, actually, uh, Stephen Jackson on his channel, JWTV, uh, asked me about something he did in this particular video here. It's out of control now, world alert. Uh, I actually got a good laugh too listening to him. It's kind of funny. Steve got real. He got me comment. Got me laughing. I know this subject is very serious. It's just the way he talks about the bird and his head up as behind type thing. It was kind of cute. Anyway, I really appreciate Stephen's work there. But he sent this to me. I actually did some checking and I got some answers on it about a missile striking the sun. Listen to what Stephen says in this here. Listen in. now. Right here, if you look at it, this is on what's called Gina Hall page or something like that. They say it was a, a missile, but it's not apparent what's coming towards the sun. And it's, it's like two objects, so it was another one right in front of it. We zoom in closer here. It was one before it, and then there was another one. The strange thing is, though, whatever was fired at the sun the same day, October 10th, guess what else happened? Supposedly, we had some spots on the sun. So you're telling me on October 10th, same day, let's look at this. It also was a weird cube. So same day, October 10th, and I'm going to show you this footage that we got sunspots. We're seeing cubes freaking on the sun, uh, just like I showed you the other time when I was telling you about solar deities and all this other stuff. Holes on the sun. All right. Let me weigh in about what Steven is talking about here. Uh, the cube that you're seeing is actually an alien spacecraft. Uh, that We know about that. I've shared that with you guys before. Uh, it is a very, as you can see, a very large spacecraft there. It does refuel from the sun. That's why you see it by the sun. And uh, of course, the entities that are inside that cube happen to be, uh, on average, I think I was told 20 to 20 to 30 foot tall. I forget exactly the height they are now. Uh, in fact, the Vatican had sent to Washington, D.C. Uh, a very ominous letter speaking about those particular entities that we will end up in a battle with them here on Earth. Now, that's on that issue. Now, going back, though, to what appears to be a missile here, uh, that Steve speaks about. It almost looks like a meteorite, and it may be, it could be a meteorite, where I don't know for sure. But I asked uh, an insider in Washington about this, and I was told that yes, we actually about every month or so fire missiles at the sun. Uh, they're part of experiments that they're doing, but of course, th the information to be disclosed about those types of experiments and things were not disclosed to me, but it was uh, confirmed that we do fire missiles at the sun. Now, whether or not this particular object was one of those missiles or not, I cannot confirm that as far as October the 10th, but it makes you wonder, what is our government really doing if we're firing some sort of missiles at the sun? Well, somebody finally caught it, is what it is, on camera, and that's the amazing part there. So I wanted to share that with you so you kind of know awesome. what's going on there. And then also, too, another quick thing I'd share with you guys, uh, threat, threat of nationwide rail strike grows after second union rejects a labor deal. Uh, I think I mentioned this on our regular Israeli News Live program just the other day. Let me just see what they're Amazing saying here for industries. you. This pyramid of uh, 26 uh, beautiful... Uh, okay, the video is not going into that. But a union representative, representing 6,000 railroad workers said it is a members have voted against ratifying the tentative agreement brokered between rail company unions and members of the President Joe Biden's administration in September. If you recall on Israeli News Live, I talked about how that um, the president had gotten involved in this, uh, and he basically was willing to give the give them if if the government has to pay for it, uh, whatever it takes to keep the railroad system going, and mainly because Biden has already said internally. It's not been made public that he's going to run for president again in 2024. Of course, I asked about how much how much laughter was there going on in the room when he said that. Uh, you know, you know, they're not going to laugh in front of him, but many of them know that they just don't see how he's going to do it. But they said he's willing to do all kind of crazy things, make all kind of crazy promises that he probably could never keep just to make himself look good. And it is believed that he will do everything it takes to keep the dollar afloat. 
uh, because of making sure that there's no collapse in the economy so that when he runs for president, he can say he did a good thing, right? So that's what it's all about. But the issue, we come back to the issue about uh, the, the railroad workers. And now they're back. They were back at the White House last week. I actually knew about the very day they were there. It wasn't in the news, but I knew about it. Uh, I think I actually shared that on Israeli News Live. I forget if I did or did not. But one thing I was told is that there is definitely, more, well, I shouldn't say definitely. I should say a high probability they're going to strike and they're going to do it right around Thanksgiving. And that will cause all kinds of uh, horrible mishaps as a result of that. Now, the article I have up here, U.S. Railroad China's Connection, it's really just going into a little historical uh, aspect of how the Chinese uh, really were the backbone of building our initial railroad uh, system here, uh, used in their labors that were used to build, I think, some 900 plus miles of track, uh, did carve two tunnels through uh, the mountains of Nevada. Uh, the Chinese played a major role. But I bring this out, though, because also, this issue with the railroad uh, situation we have here now and the possibility of a strike is, I've been told, is being heavily influenced by China. Get that. China behind it for destabilization of this country to cause us problems as well. And it's no wonder because, as you'll find on Israeli News Live, uh, our regular broadcast there, uh, I'll be talking about how that China and Russia are now in agreement with Taiwan. Anyway, just wanted to update you guys, give you some information there uh, I thought you might find kind of interesting. I still got a lot more to be able to bring out to you, so I'm hoping this weekend to share more videos with you, so do stay tuned, uh, and thank you very much. Thank you from the depth of my heart for your for your contribution here to Patreon, and uh, because quite frankly, it is the one way that we are able to keep the work we do uh, moving forward. And thank you and God bless you for that.